That's a fundamental problem with how martial arts are taught today. Instructors either give too much restriction or too much freedom and not enough guidance. It turns out effective training isn't about perfect technique by rote memorization or about random sparring, random randori. It's about finding what cognitive scientists now call the Goldilocks zone of learning. Let me explain this with three visual approaches to learning. Traditional instruction is like a color by numbers, let's say dinosaur. Every move has a correct way, with exact placement, exact timing, exact everything. While this creates a perfect outcome and consistency, it doesn't teach a student how to think or adapt. And when those students face unpredictable situations, they often freeze up because their reality doesn't match their programming. But going completely freeform, that isn't the answer either. Totally unstructured training? It's like handing someone a blank page and saying, here, you draw the dinosaur. There's too much cognitive load. The results aren't very good. And this overwhelming sense of unguided freedom, that often leads to students just quitting training altogether. This is where the constraints-led approach steps in. In this example, it's more like a coloring book. It has the outline, it has the guidance, but it's not overly restrictive. It provides guidance without restricting creativity, letting students self-discover those correct movements more naturally and on their own. Students actually strengthen their belief in the traditional techniques when they discover them on their own, far more than rote memorization. The CLA, the constraints-led approach, comes from modern cognitive science. It better matches how humans actually learn complex movement skills. Traditional training methods, they make students great at drills, but poor at applying skills in a changing environment. Even worse, the overly restrictive approach gradually kills student motivation. And who wants to just do something without having any reason for it? Give your students a reason to do the things they're doing. Let them discover how effective this is. Creativity paradox shows that having some constraints in place actually enhance learning rather than limiting it. By managing that cognitive load and highlighting key affordances, instructors can create that perfect Goldilocks zone for learning. And that brings us back to our original problem. Finding the sweet spot between structure and freedom in martial arts training. Not too restricted, not too open and free, but just right for developing true martial arts expertise.